one of those really frustrating days, and maybe a defining frustrating day for us in this trip. morning it's just barely morning been riding for about half hour maybe very ghostly scene a lot of smoke kind of shifting into the plains a little bit although we still have a pass to cross over coming into Wavondo where we cross the Great Divide Trail then ultimately Lincoln where we got a room waiting for us The whole ride today has been on this really narrow shoulder. Fast, fast traffic. It's nerve wracking. It really is nerve wracking. Like that kind of stuff. Most people won't move over. They won't give you any extra room. But luckily there's been no close calls. Oh, Vando. <laughs> I need to blend in more, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, puppy. We're in the Blackfoot store. Ovando. This is where a bicycle camper just within the last week was dragged from her tent and mauled to death by a grizzly bear. Out here, the bear threat is very real. Just leaving the little country store, heading back to the highway. Cowboy country out here, yes it is. You can imagine how pretty this is without all the uh, smoke haze. Gorgeous valley, nice flat, green, irrigated, mountains in all directions. But they're just obscured by all the smoke and all the pollution from the fires. Still in Montana, still on this crazy freeway. Seems like forever before we're gonna get anywhere. And I tell you what, this whole damn country is uphill. Miles are ticking by. So now we're in a complete no shoulder zone. I don't know, this is stressful. It's definitely stressing us out. 13 probably more miles to go to town. Despite all the beauty that we were riding through, the lack of shoulders and the reluctance of most drivers to give even the slightest amount of room for us, even on an empty, wide open road, was troubling to us both. The truth is that we felt like we were in constant danger. Made it to Lincoln, Montana. That was a long ride, but in good company. Love that feeling of coming into town. Here we go, there's our place. We got the three bears and we got a wheel in right next to us. Hey, how perfect is that? Hi there. Go ahead. I'll stop for you. I promise. Where are you biking from? Uh, west coast. Going west coast to east coast. Oh wow. Yeah. I, I could never do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you never know. I would just be so worried about all the traffic. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. Yeah. I heard somewhere they're working on a, a bike trail from like Washington D.C. all across the country, but it's just a bike trail, and part of it. We've actually been trying to follow what they have, oh, okay. but uh, most of it's not rideable. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, good. thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. The Montanan Steakhouse, where we had the best steak of our lives. When you're in Montana, you gotta eat steak. I'm sending food corn. <laughs> <laughs> New York Strip and... Mm-hmm. Mm, yes. Ribeye. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. 
And what were your names again? Doug and Vic. All right. You guys have a great time. And you do the same. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you, darling. Real pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Enjoy your drive through Montana. Thank you. We will. It's a nice little walk in the rain. <laughs> Back from a, another steak dinner. God, yeah, we're really roughing it, right? Steak dinners every night. Holy cow. Yeah, good morning. It's a beautiful morning, actually. It smells really fresh. Had a good hard rain last night. It was all foggy this morning, so we kind of dilly-dallied in our room until the fog cleared. We get to climb the Continental Divide today. Rogers Pass. Elevation 5700 or something like that, a little higher than Denver where we come from. Shouldn't be too hard. Climb doesn't look too bad. Say goodbye to this cute little town. It's a cute little town with great goodbye, steaks. Goodbye to the greatest ribeye steak I've ever had in my life. We did spend uh, some of the morning looking at the smoke map, which looks pretty grim, all over North Dakota. We're riding through the darkest areas. We're, yeah, we're getting ready to ride through the darkest areas, although today does not seem too bad. We're gonna cross this pass, then we got the Great Plains to cross, and uh, we're gonna haul some butt. But it was a really nice stop over, wasn't it? It was, it was very nice. And uh, we caught up on a lot of things, Good and we're, day. I think we're raring to go myself. Anyway, let's ride. We left the town of Lincoln on a beautiful morning, especially after last night's rain. It's really beautiful countryside. Just gorgeous. Got a nice little shoulder here. The rumble strip protecting us. Feels much safer than it did yesterday. I think we're both very grateful for that. Soon, the shoulders that provided such comfort narrowed down to nothing, and we found ourselves caught between living in the moment and living in fear of the fast-moving cars behind us. Making our way through the mountains of Montana on this busy highway with basically no shoulder. Cars are zipping by at 70, 80 miles an hour. Big double trailer semis. After a long climb, it looks like we finally made it to the Continental Divide. We're on Rogers Pass, elevation 56 and change. It's all downhill from here. The day proved longer and harder than we expected, and while the plains opened up to a landscape of staggering beauty, the traffic continued to rob us of joy. On several occasions, oncoming cars chose to pass us just as we approached, forcing us off the road, screaming profanities into the void. It's a really rough day. All this wind, big time headwind. I don't know what we got going here. 15, 20, 25, who knows? It's just constantly cranking. It's been a long day. Already well over 50 miles over the divide and over a lot of climbs that we didn't expect. I'm tired of all that climbing with all that weight. And then we drop down 
into the plains, which is just windy and hot. And I think it's actually very beautiful, but you know, there is this foreboding sense of isolation out here. It's been rough, shoulders, really narrow shoulders, cars passing the opposite way so that they just barely miss us. It's incredibly frustrating. And I'm sure we're gonna to get to Great Falls. I don't know if we're gonna be able to continue on the trip. One of those really frustrating days. Maybe a defining frustrating day for us in this trip. Augusta, Montana. Another day, another smoky campsite. Sky. It's beautiful, dramatic. Big Sky, Montana. These are some folks that we uh, met here at the whatever hotel this is, somewhere in Great Falls. I'm Pat Day, I'm from Indiana, and they're my heroes now. <laughs> so, uh, and this is Patty. And we came out Utah. here to actually meet one of my new granddaughters. That's right. She was a whopping four pounds, five ounces a month ago. Wow. Oh, wow. Went to my first rodeo last night. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. They wouldn't let me ride any of the sheep or anything. But you tried, I'm sure. I would have. I, I think I could have won that mutton part. <laughs> did you guys drive out here or did you fly? We flew. Okay. okay. That was an exciting thing. It's it was a, about this wide. Yeah. It's a small yeah. charter. And, and I was sitting next to the stewardess. And as we was taking off and landing both times, she was like this. And I, I said, are you praying? <laughs> and when we landed, I think I heard her say, amen. So, she's like, don't worry about me. I, I'm just scared of flying. <laughs> yeah. Did you get a shot of my eyebrows? Uh, I, I did. <laughs> it's, it's a new thing. Uh, girls, contact him for my information. <laughs> We're going to run this on the GQ YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You're my heroes. And I'd like to know if you met it or got ate by bears. Or... Yeah. yeah. Where's your foot? A grizzly ate it. <laughs> but it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was such a pleasure to meet yeah. you. Yeah. You guys too. Yeah. <laughs> kind of breaking protocol because um, we're in an airport and we should be wearing our masks. But for, just for this quick little video, we're going to um, take them off. Here's the deal. We've been, uh, we haven't really filmed much lately because we've been in Great Falls, Montana, trying to decide what we're gonna really do for the next uh, part of our trip because we had a whole bunch of uh, run-ins with drivers uh, coming way, way, way too close. Super narrow shoulders, just lack of available roads to take. And um, we just decided life's too short. We have, you know, uh, hundreds of miles of this kind of stuff ahead of us, and we decided we're gonna skip that. And we're gonna jump over to Kansas City, where my daughter Kelsey lives, and uh, also the start of the Katy Trail, where we can expect- Ride safer. Yeah, we can ride safer, and we can- um, See Kelsey. See, well, we can see Kelsey, <laughs> but we can also just hit the trail. We'll hit the Katy Trail. Um, in Kansas City and from then on it's you know probably mostly rail trails so it's going to be a lot safer when there's not rail trails there's lots of farm roads and lots of options to take if something's not working you can always just take a another route so that's what we've decided to do and it's a bit of a heartbreaker uh, because I think that we both wanted to complete this thing all the way through from one end to the other but again, it just seems like, you know, life is just a little too short for that. It's just not worth the risk. Yeah. 
I mean, I think it was also, it wasn't even just the risk, but it was the stress of like dealing with it. It was not very rewarding. So, and we also talked to a number of people, really nice people here in Montana, who say, oh yeah, we hate cyclists and couldn't care less about their safety. <laughs> True. And it's, it's like, true, okay, really get the impression, you know, that, yeah. that, that you're not Message really, received. you're not welcome on, on, on their highways. And uh, so, yeah, we got the message, Montana. We got our bikes shipped. Hopefully this weekend we'll be on the trail again. And Yay. it's going to be awesome for the rest of the time. to ride again. So we're dying. We're just, it's been kind of a, like a weird black hole. Yeah, it has. Here in it Great has. Falls. Um, just a strange period of time and uh, full of uncertainty and second guessing. But I think we're very clear about where we're going and we decided that it's definitely the right thing to do. Some more good times to come. Stay Absolutely. Tuned. Yep. <laughs>